Now I can add this mechanical bell ringer into the mix. I'll just use this as a coupler because it's handy. And plug that in over here. So you already blinked the line. It, it does that when you plug it in for whatever reason. And we will place the call now. And that rings, no problem. Shut the switch. You can hear the Sony cordless phone on the wall. So that's working. The Nortelco, Northern Telecom, was it? Can't remember, but it was the phone I had in the kitchen when I was a kid. Bell ringer. That rings. The bar phone. Oh yeah. The 8-ball phone and cordless Panasonic. That works. And on the main floor, there's a VTEC phone back there. And I will let you hear the cacophony rather than going around the entire house because it's getting tiring. But here we go. It should light up, I think. It does. I just remembered I wanted to show you the uh, Radio Shack Realistic Phone Flasher with the strobe. I'm coming to you from the next morning, actually. But here we go. It's nice and dark in here. Upstairs in the guest room, I have the uh, the old 1950s, 60s, I, I can't even remember this stuff anymore, phone. Uh, it's just sitting there. It's just hooked up just for the ring booster to do its thing, you know, so we can prove that. So we'll dial that. And the Garfield phone is also ringing. I don't know if you can quite hear it, but it's there. And the phone in the bedroom. Panasonic 900 megahertz. That rings as well. This is on the Whiffs side of the bed. And um, I plan to put another... AT&T 210 in here. I have to find it first. Uh, but I want to put a phone on the other side of the bed because when it rings, it's a pain in the ass having to, you know, roll over six times to get to it and pick it up only to find out it wasn't somebody I wanted to talk to in the first place. <laughs> or a car warranty scam. You know how that, well that goes. Well, one more phone that I wanted to show you with a plan for that as well. And now in the garage, this is just placed here temporarily. Here is a wall jack that is not on the wall yet because I haven't decided where it's going and what the whole deal is exactly. But let's ring that. This was my grandfather's phone. Oh, the phone's ringing. 
Hello? 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 Hello, I can hear me. Can can you hear me? Can me hear you? Okay, goodbye. It works. All the phones ring. Everything just works. This is here. Going to be mounted on the wall. I have another no-name phone that has an answering machine, which I don't want. But also has a speaker phone that I, I'm thinking about maybe putting in here. I'd have to test it. You know, I'd just put it and test it out. Talk to somebody and see. Um, so I'd have to try that. So that's a plan for that. Or I have some old Fakakta um, cordless phones that are things are broken and but they still pick up and work and that because it's rare that I'm going to be making a call from the garage um, they all dial like I have a, a Panasonic one that the display on it for the caller ID just quit it just quit I don't know it just freaked out and died and it wasn't dropped or anything it just stopped working and I opened it up to try to fix it and there's nothing to do so it just, the LCD just died and has like erroneous characters on it. So that would be a decent cordless phone for the garage. You know, I'd put the shittier stuff out here because and that. But now finally, after all of these years, and I don't know, five, six, probably close to six years, I finally have all of this resolved. And I'm really happy because, like I said, this was my grandfather's phone. I had a video on this. There's links in the prescription for all of this stuff. So make sure you watch that, especially if you're a phone twerp. Uh, this phone was my grandfather's, and I remember it as a kid. We were only over at his house two, three times a year, maybe. Out of those three times a year... You tell me, when the whole family is gathered, how often the phone is going to ring. Nowadays, everybody has cell phones. This was back in the 80s. So if you had to make a call, you had to go to a pay phone, if anybody remembers those. So the likelihood of the phone ringing was pretty low. But I do remember it a couple of times over the years. And it had a very distinctive sound. It's not distinctive... Um, to those who have a phone like this, but it, it sounds different from other bell ringer phones. There's just something about the gong in it that sounds different, and it reminds me of Grandpa's house. So this has to be in service no matter what. And that's really it. So now that I know that this can ring, this is, yeah, the farthest run of telephone line in the entire house um, if you don't count what stretches up to upstairs uh, it certainly comes out here there's plenty of slack here also that I may pull into the basement I haven't decided exactly how that's all gonna work but it's it's all here and it definitely does ring and it definitely does work and that was one thing that I definitely wanted in the garage was this phone and now certainly it will be here and it will ring and everything finally works I'm also glad because um, now that I'm out here in the garage it's cold in the garage and it was hot running around the house so I get to cool off but anyway that's it uh, let's just go back to the basement and wrap this up so all of this came about because of the networking trouble that I had way back when and I had to replace the cable modem. The old cable modem that I had seemed to have enough REN to run everything but this new one did not. It was a new model and I only got the modem because of the network connectivity issues I was having and I blamed the wrong part basically and had to get this modem and this is it and that's what I have and that's that you know there's no sense getting another one that could be even worse so I kept what I had if I would have kept the old modem knowing what the problem was at the time 
then probably this wouldn't have happened or wouldn't have happened till a much later date when I wanted to add more phones but they're here everything finally works and there's nobody to talk to isn't that just how it goes yeah anyway that's gonna wrap up upgrading the telephone system in the house Thank you very kindly for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and ring it a ding dingy dong, ring a dong ding ding. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, and while you're at it, ring it a ding 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 dingy dong the bell. <laughs>